Renowned for his acclaimed work holes, American author Louis Satcher's novel The Card Turner, 2010, delves into the journey of a teenager who becomes entangled in a family drama while learning the intricacies of the card game bridge from his affluent uncle. Throughout the book, the rules and nuances of the game are gradually revealed, paralleled by a whale illustration, a nod to the extensive whaling details found in Herman Melville's Moby Dick. 17-year-old Alton Richards, the protagonist, stands on the brink of adulthood, struggling with the recent loss of his girlfriend, Katie, to his best friend, Cliff, Alton grapples with uncertainty about his future. His parents hope that Alton will establish a connection with his wealthy and elderly uncle, Lester Trapp, with the aim of securing a share of his inheritance. They perceive the Castaneda family, relatives of Trapp's former bridge partner, as their main competition for the inheritance. Due to diabetes-induced blindness, Trapp requires a card turner for his bridge games, someone to read his cards aloud and play as per his instructions. Seizing the opportunity, Alton's parents volunteer him for the role without his consent. Tony Castaneda, a girl considered eccentric, had previously occupied the position but was dismissed after questioning Trapp's card choices during a game. Alton's first task involves accompanying Trapp to the bridge club for his daily game, where he partners with a woman named Gloria. Despite Alton's initial blunders, while reading cards, they emerge victorious. As Alton continues with his duties, he gradually develops an interest in the game and begins to grasp its basics, even in the face of mockery from Cliff. Alton uncovers Trapp's remarkable prowess as a player, almost achieving the status of a grand life master. Interestingly, Trapp has never won a regional tournament, a source of constant frustration in his life. Gloria advises Alton to keep this fact from Trapp to avoid exacerbating his vexation. Through their shared experiences, Alton and Trapp forge a closer bond, evolving their relationship beyond the confines of the bridge table. Trapp shares with Alton that he once partnered with Annabelle King, his wife's sister. However, when Trapp opts to play with Tony at the club instead of his regular partner, their initial encounters don't bode well. Treating Tony as a protege, Trapp's approach doesn't sit well with Alton, who has reservations about her from the outset due to her numerous errors leading to losses in their games. On a subsequent occasion, when they pair up again, the situation worsens. While Trapp remains oblivious to Alton's growing proficiency in the game, Tony perceives the change and requests a game with him. They team up with Alton's younger sister, Leslie, and Cliff. During the match, Cliff's focus on conversing with Tony and inviting her to a party raises suspicions. Alton's developing feelings for Tony spark concerns that Cliff might steal yet another girl from him. On the day of the party, Alton accompanies Trapp to a sectional tournament, which they manage to win. Tony proposes another game with Alton, this time at the club. Although they succeed in their initial match, their performance falters at other tables. In one particularly crucial game, Tony decides to redouble on their final hand, a daring move that doesn't always yield favorable results. Surprisingly, their gamble pays off, securing them a victory. Tony eventually discloses to Alton that she struggles with schizophrenia and frequently hears her grandmother's voice in her head, guiding her card choices. This grandmother was none other than Annabelle King, Trapp's former bridge partner. As the time for the regional tournament approaches, Alton escorts Trapp to the event during which Trapp reveals Annabelle's tragic history. Married to the wealthy and influential Henry King, Annabelle's bridge skills surpassed her husband's, leading to his resentment. Henry prohibited her from playing and subjected her to isolation and physical abuse. Despite these challenges, Annabelle became Trapp's partner and demonstrated exceptional performance, driven by her unconventional habit of never refusing a redouble. Trapp and Annabelle ventured into a national tournament, but Henry had Annabelle forcibly taken to an asylum. Despite Trapp's and his wife's efforts to secure her release, they were unsuccessful. Annabelle tragically passed away in the asylum after consuming bleach. Trapp performs admirably during the initial days of the regional tournament. However, a day arrives when he arrives late, becomes frustrated with Alton, and commits a noticeable blunder that throws him off balance. Declining to continue playing for the day, he instructs Alton to take his place, having learned of Alton's progress in mastering the game. Trapp insists on being taken home immediately, cancelling all his bridge games leading up to the national tournament. Sadly, he passes away before the national tournament takes place. 
Trapp leaves a majority of his wealth for charitable purposes, but ensures there's enough to aid Alton's family in settling their debts and financing Alton's college education. At Trapp's funeral, Alton encounters Tony, and they decide to engage in another game together. This time, their performance is significantly improved. During the game, Alton perceives Trapp's voice guiding his plays, and Tony later reveals that she exclusively follows the directions dictated by her grandmother's voice. While driving home, Alton hears the voice again, directing him to Trapp's house. Following the voice's cues, they discover the documents pertaining to the national tournament. They come to realize that Trapp and Annabelle want them to participate in their stead. Although Tony has been dating Cliff, her affections for Alton begin to resurface. They collaborate, using Trapp and Annabelle's instructions, and their bond deepens throughout the course of the tournament. Ultimately, they emerge victorious, and in the midst of the celebrations, Tony shares a kiss with Alton. Alton concludes the narrative by indicating his ongoing engagement with Bridge and hinting at a continuing relationship with Tony. The card turner stands out for its unique approach of presenting a relatable story for teenagers within the realm of Bridge, a complex and traditional card game predominantly favored by older generations. Critics lauded Satcher's skill in rendering the game both engaging and approachable. The Guardian remarked that the novel reads like an extended, poker-faced challenge, as if Satcher has embarked on a personal wager to infuse an ostensibly dull backdrop with excitement. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.